हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस एंड टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माय चैनल हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द रिलेशन बिटवीन एरिया एंड द मैक नंबर नाउ दिस इज द लेक्चर टू ऑन कंप्रेसिबल फ्लो If you have not watched my previous lecture please watch that then again come back to this video else you will not understand completely and if you find this video helpful please press the like button do share on so social media that is on facebook whatsapp twitter etc and uh, do watch my other videos also and do subscribe to my channel do follow me on facebook google plus and twitter now the relation between area and the mac number that is whether when the area is increasing or when the area is decreasing and the relation between that area or the change in area with the mac number so first we have to derive how we can derive considering this as a general now usually this is a diffuser because the area is increasing but here you do not consider it to be a nozzle or diffuser at first you just take general area for derivation purpose it is easy to begin with this or you can take nozzle area also but generally what i prefer is to take this enlargement area that is the area is increasing in the x direction so here the fluid is flowing so pressure pressure is p and here the pressure will be p plus dp now the force acting will be pressure p into a and here the pressure will the force acting will be p plus dp into a plus da here the area was a now here the area is a plus da and this force that is acting on the slant area that is this slant area that is given by p plus dp by 2 into das now here it was p here it is p plus dp so at the mid section it is p plus dp by 2 into slant area that is the area of this this complete this area the, this slant portion in 360 revolution and this acts at angle theta with this normal so since mass flow rate is constant that is rho u a is constant so taking log and differentiating we get 1 by rho d rho plus 1 by u du plus 1 by a da is equal to 0 now assuming it to be equation number 1 now if the net force f is the net force acting on the external that is f is the net external force that is acting on the control volume due to shear and pressure force along the flow now f is also equal to rate of change of momentum so f is equal to mass flow rate into change in velocity that is du m dot du this is equation number 2 now first we have to find what is the net external force acting so proceeding it the first is the pressure force so pressure force in x direction would be pa minus p plus dp into a plus da plus 2 sin theta into p plus dp by 2 into das now how i have written that is p into a in this direction and p plus dp into a plus da is in this direction so it is taken positive direction of x is taken as positive and negative direction of x is taken as negative so this is positive minus this is negative all right then this will have two components it will act in this direction also and this direction also and we have to take that component which is in x direction so that component is this that is sin theta component and it will act here also and at this this point also so we have to take 2 so 2 into p plus dp by 2 into das sin theta so this is the net external force due to pressure now from the from this diagram that is considering this elemental theta term theta this uh, this direction is assumed to be 
theta making an angle theta with the normal so by using this we can write just like this that theta sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse so sin theta is da by 2 upon das now because this was a and this was also a and this completely this total is a plus da so this plus this this is da so this is da by 2 all right so i have taken this da by 2 so da by 2 upon das is sin theta now we can substitute the value of sin theta into das as da by 2 in the above equation and then solving and neglecting the product of a small term that is dp into da neglected and it will get cancelled and again dp into da is neglected and finally you will get minus a dp also the shear force is tau into pi dl but because the it resists the flow so it is taken as negative so shear force is minus tau into pi dl so total force will be minus a dp minus tau into pi dl and then because we know force net force is equal to rate of change of momentum so minus a dp minus tau into pi dl is equal to m dot du now minus a dp minus tau into pi dl is equal to mass flow rate is rho a into u and du as it is now dividing by rho a completely so we get minus dp upon rho minus tau pi dl upon rho a is equal to u du you take everything on the right side so dp upon rho plus tau into pi dl upon rho a plus u du is equal to 0 this is equation number 3 then since the shear stress is very less as compared to the normal pressure so assuming shear stress tau is equal to 0 tending to 0 so we we are left with dp upon rho plus u du is equal to 0 so dp upon now multiplying and dividing by d rho dp upon d rho into d rho upon rho plus u du is equal to 0 now value of dp upon d rho is c square that is i have already derived it from in the first lecture of compressible flow if you don't know how it come please watch my first lecture i have given the link in the description or you can visit my channel and watch that video then c dp by d rho is c square so c square d rho by rho plus u du is equal to 0 now from first equation that was d rho by rho plus d a by a plus du by u is equal to 0 we can take the value of d rho by rho as minus d a by a minus d u by u and then substituting in the above equation c square d rho by rho plus u d equal to 0 so c square into minus d a by a minus d u by u plus u d u equal to 0 then collecting the terms with d u so d u into u minus c square by u is equal to c square d a by a and uh, d u that is multiplying taking the lcm so d u u square minus c square by taking c square down and taking u uh, this side so d u u square minus c square upon c square is equal to u d a by a then now Mach number is u by c so du m square minus 1 is equal to u da by a now da by a is given by du by u into m square minus 1 so this was the relation that that is the relation between area and the Mach number now this is very important relation and uh, this is the I must say that this is the most important relation of compressible flow and uh, by this relation we can see that if m square is negative that is area if increases then u decrease that is when m square is negative so this is negative so this complete is negative that is for area to be that is this for this to be positive that is the change in area is positive that is it is increasing the area is increasing so for this to be positive this has to be negative because negative into negative is positive and if m square is negative that is subsonic flow then this is negative then this has to be also negative du by u so velocity will decrease and then it will work as diffuser that is the enlargement area 
the area afterwards is more and initially it is less and then if m square is positive that is supersonic flow then m square minus 1 will be positive then for the da by a to be positive du by u should be also positive because positive into positive is positive so du by u is positive that means the u value increases then it will work as nozzle that is it will work as nozzle all right from this equation this is the physical or the interpretation what we get what we can find by using this equation we can find whether if a particular mach number is given we can tell whether the flow is subsonic or the flow is uh, supersonic and then we can tell whether the device is working as a diffuser or as a nozzle so this was the video regarding the relation between area and the mach number in the next video i would continue the compressible flow please like this video if you have found this video helpful please share it on facebook google plus twitter whatsapp etc and do subscribe my channel if you have already not subscribed now take care thank you Bye.